Uh, selling a house with an occupant. So for instance, I got this one deal. Um, it honestly seems like a, a home run. Um, the only thing I'm concerned about, so basically the guy wants 50. Um, he owes 10. Um, doesn't say, it, it sounds like it'll be a cash deal, but looking at some of these other houses that have sold in the area, um, this house is like an absolute outlier. It's like a historic, it looks like the Amityville Horror House, which unless it's haunted, I don't know why it sold for 35K um, like five years ago, but houses are selling for around like 140, um, three bed, two bath, 1700 square feet. And this one is six bed, two bath, 5,000, 5,100 square feet. Wow. Um, yeah. So like it's, and I can't find anything else like it. So unless people hate huge, cool looking houses, I, I don't know why it would sell for any less, but I mean, once 50, I would put the ARV at like, I can't imagine it selling less for than 140. But it's also cooler probably than I probably more like two hundred. That's what I was thinking, but I didn't want to get ahead of myself. Yeah. Um, and the other one's fifty. He wants fifty. And it's in so, good shape. What's that? It's in good shape, Connor. It looks like it is. Uh, um, I, I have a meeting with him today in like forty minutes. Um, my but question he sent me would be why. Say it again. My question would be why. Why is he? Selling a two hundred thousand dollar house in good shape for fifty. So that's what I was trying to get at. So whoever sold it to him was an out of state investor who's still holding the note. Um, he owes ten k on it, um, and it looked like, from what I can gather from Zillow, which is always so accurate, um, he bought it for thirty five and then sold it for fifty five. So I don't, I honest, I'm, I'm a little baffled by it. Um, it just sounds really too good to be true, but uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know if it was the out of state investor just trying to make a quick 20. Um, I don't know, but they're trying to go back to Florida because they don't know anyone. It's this really small town um, in Alabama and they're just trying to get back to like family. So the guy said he's, he always does his real estate transactions like this, which is great. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, I, I, I anything I should ask for on the meeting? I mean. Yeah, ask him what's wrong with it. Yeah, I, I was thinking the same thing. Um, cool. I'll try and, yeah, there's, I just feel like there's something there. One of the but, ways you can do that, Connor, is you have them describe the house to you and say, listen, tell me about your house. And they'll go on, oh, it's got a great kitchen and I love the bathroom, and, but it needs a little work. And, you know, and I always ask people when they get done with that, you know, that sounds like such a great property. Why in the world are you interested in selling it? Um, and, you, I mean, you already know the answer. They want to leave, right? They need to move. But that's a lot of times that will get them to open up and they'll tell you, well, you know, there, there is a little haunting issue. <laughs> you know, yeah, it does make I'm noise every doing. night. Uh, you know, the upstairs floor squeak or something. I mean, they're, you know, they'll, a lot of times they'll tell you after they tell you the good stuff, they feel obligated to tell you the rest of the story. So.